Hello guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to our channel. So this afternoon guys, uh, we will create a uh, .NET Solvent Minimal API that will connect to a school server. And we will use Entity Framework. So if you have not watched in my uh, Minimal API video before, you can watch it, it's just a basic without interacting to the database. But today, this afternoon, I will show you how to connect to the uh, to our SQL Server database, our, our data source. So we'll start with our Visual Studio 2022. Uh, let's open it. So we need to create a project. Uh, first, we will choose API, C Sharp, Language, then we'll create next, and then we will name this as Minimal API A4, right? Click next. Uh, you can see the framework is that it's saving, and we just uncheck the Docker, we will not use it. And then use controller and check this, but we are not going to use the controller base. So we are going to use minimal API. So we check this one. Uh, I mean, uncheck to use minimal API. So we you are going to uncheck. And of course, we enable open API support. That is our way to test the API. So uh, we can fire the endpoint of the API. All right, so we'll create next. And our project has been created. So same as usual, the first, the, the template of the Microsoft framework, that needs seven, you can see that in the project file, it's already that needs seven. And then, of course, uh, there is no controller folder so this is minimal api and if you can see in our program sees files this is where everything is being written for the minimal api and we have already the where we can add services to our container here for example this is builder that services to add swagger gen that is our way to View the API. For example, if I will run this, it will display the array of uh, weather forecasts. So, right, you can see in my screen here. If we can test it, we can have the, the array of weather forecasts, right? So, if we delete this one, this summary. Including this Git API, uh, we'll run it. Then, as you can see, this has no operation in our API. So that it's so this this is good for creating a microservices. So you have a minimal files for your API endpoint. So yeah. So since we are going to interact with our database, uh, database using entity framework or first thing that we have to do is to create uh, of course we need to install our packages first for example the entity framework for a so we'll go to install first we'll go to the you get packets, packets console, or you can just browse, but I I usually prefer to use the packets console here. And I like to type. <laughs> Alright, so I will like install packets since we are going to use entity framework. So Microsoft that or, or and we will not get the option. 
the version so we'll just leave it as blank so we will install the latest in the Morpher. so as you can see it's installing now the in the Morpher. so we that's the ORM that we are going to use to connect to our SQL server database all right so as you can see here in our package I mean the, the, the dependency folder and in the package so you can see we have now Microsoft Entity Framework Core 7.0.2. So that's the latest version, right? Um, next thing uh, we have to do is, uh, yeah, we need to configure or create our connection string, right? So, or what we call DB context. So from here, I will create a folder. So it will be segregated. Let's say, for example, this is our uh, data. And then from here, I will create a class for our DB context class. So I will name it as PI DB context. So API DB context and this one we will inherit the DB context which come from the entity framework for so we will bring the new piece entity framework for like that and let's create the constructor CTOR then that then we will pass the DB connection option, DB context option. Let's just the option. So here. And uh, of course, we can pass it to the base. This is the entity framework for. Then. This is a uh, uh, code base approach, so we will create the database from our code. So first, uh, we'll configure the connection and before that we will create our data model. So I will create a folder for the models. This is our entities or the table that we are going to create. So. We'll just use uh, create a class, uh, for example, uh, say, for example, car. So let's just have a car in this. Okay. In the car, of course, it will have an ID. So we'll just uh, make it an ID. E string, for example, uh, with number. Let's see car description, or let's see description. So another property, for example, uh, time and see this is nullability time. This means if it's empty, it will allow none. So or the tone like that the time that you acquire the card so that's a simple uh, entity so we'll, it will be created a table like that in our database 
So we will define our database name and of course we will configure our connection string. So and our connection string from here. So for example here let's see connection string. Uh, See our name of connection is car API con and then the value our connection string. So I am here my server explorer. I have already connected to my SQL database here, my local. So we have to do is go to properties and I can copy this connection string. So this is my local database. Just copy it. This is a Windows. You can see here. This is my laptop and it's called Express Initial Catalog. This will be the database that will be created. But the database is not existing first. That is why this is code based approach. Uh, yeah, code based approach, not a database. So we will have the car API DB. And that will be the name of the database that will be created when we issue migration command. Okay, code this approach. Okay, so after we have created that, I think that's the time that we can. But of course, uh, we have to define our entities here in the. I mean, the uh, uh, entity that we define in our. Connection stream. Here in the connection string, so we can define here uh, public or db set db set db set. So you can see so db set is can be used to query. An instant so our database. So the entity that we are going to use is the car. So we'll just bring the name face in our models. And then we have to name this as cars. So cars will be uh, the table name once it be created. Okay. So we have just one table to query. This is for our demo. Can we can connect database? So now we can create our migration because we already have the connection. Uh, by the way, we have not injected our DB connection to our dependency injection. So we go to the program.cs and then we have to configure first our connect first our DB con connection. So from here, we need to add a builder that services and then we add db context. Yeah, we have the db context here and we pass the API db context. That is our db context API db text here. Alright, and then that have an option. So let's put it down here. Option. Just 
Tövbe. 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 To get packets again. The server is not here. Twenty three PM of here. I will just uh Builder that configuration that git connection string and we will supply our string which is in our app setting that this one so the name is car the icon this one there. That, but this one is not accessible. So we need to install the Microsoft Inditor framework for that SQL server. So again, go to uh, manage your git packets and then we install packets Microsoft entity start time. I the type again entity. Framework for that SQL server. Okay. So, package Microsoft Entity Framework. SQL server. So, because we will be using SQL server, I'm still. Uh, Installing that package, this will be available here. Microsoft that entity framework for that SQL server. Action is very slow because I'm using my data in a cell phone because the internet is disconnected. Uh, there's no internet for now. Provider, can you please be good <laughs> why the internet is not around by this time? So, calling you, Unbirds, Philippines. <laughs> so, we have now Microsoft that in the framework for that is the server. So, I think we can see that it's available now. Okay. All right, so we already configure our dependency and section here in the connection string so I think it's okay now to let's just build first to create our migration command so to actually create a migration command that will we go to the app packets manager again let's add migration is the migration command and the name initially for example Oh, also, I think we need to install first the tools, the prepare more tools, so we can have that command. So, entity framework. Triple more core, the tools. So, this one. This is the package that will allow you to issue a migration command as well. So it will be here in our packets as well. So let's see here. Microsoft Entity Framework for the tools. So I think we can now add migration. Yeah. All right. So you can see, guys, we can have now migration folder here. This is the one. And then the definition is here. So you have name cars. So this will be the tables that will be created once we update the database. So the command update database from here 
well actually create the database in SQL Server. So where's our SQL Server here? This is our SQL Server in our local. And there's no car API database yet. So once we issue that update database, it will be created there. We can have a database car API. Okay. So take a look here. Let's go back here. And the database. So it's creating now the database. Our connection was successfully established with the server, but there are an error. Provider certificate change was issued that is not trusted. What is this? So meaning there's a problem. Let's see. So it's not created. You know, successfully established with the server, but then an error occurred during the login process. Uh, I think I already encountered this kind of problem before. Certificate change was issued by authority that is not trusted. So I think we need to. string uh, trusted security because to do but I will search the mobile again I forgot what's the Google Google is our best friend <laughs> okay so The certificate will be true in our connection string and that will be okay. So uh, certificate goes through and then C. Okay, so now we can see our database here. Uh, it's already created here. So this is the car API DB. And we have the untable car. So as you can see here, guys, if you double click this database, uh, I mean, why it's claiming about trusted connection. Because here, some component is that I cannot find that there's a check box that you need to check. So, properties. Database security. Cannot find that you have to check uh, if it's this trusted connection or not. Maybe you can add it in your connection string. Specify that. That is a trusted connection. I don't find it. Uh, yeah, this one. Trust server server certificate. If you check that, it will not need it. It will not need this. Uh, this one. Trust server certificate was true. If it's, if that is checked. Okay, so we have now the database, so we are ready to create our API that will connect to our database, right? So because we already have the database, we already have the model, we're creating the connection string, and then we already uh, configured the dependency inj injection of our API. Hi.
API DB context, this one. All right, and then what's next to do is actually to uh, yeah, create our API endpoint. Uh, what I will introduce also. Okay, let's first create now our query on list of cars API. Okay. This is how minimal API will define your API endpoint. So from here you can see slash for example your prefix API and then cars or git cars or whatever API endpoint name you want to you want to put then from here is your string pattern and then the delicate handler so string pattern you can have this input parameter here from the input parameter we can put uh, the how we inject that dependency injection and this is the lambda expression here and then you can define your body and you can just move it here down that um, so. so we have to inject here the dependency for our connection strong which is API DB connection by DB context I mean and I just name it just context uh, yeah, so we just have to return, uh, return OK, return result. That is so uh, return result OK, then text that cars entity that tool is like that. Or if we have to use uh, a sync and await. So first we need to put the sync here, synchronous. So this is nice because it's, and then from here we need to put how it asynchronous here. How it and this must be a sync. See, it's always a sync. So I think oh wait, so it's just like there's no blocking. So while they are querying, the other process can still continue. There's no it still give you a progressive uh, yeah. So it will not block any process. So there, if there are two process, if first process is not yet done, it will just go to the next process. So that is a thing oh wait. So Let's try if we can query our car table. But of course, our car table has no data. So, yeah. So, just put the data first. Okay. And we can add data later by the uh, API endpoint. So, we can add data manually from here, the database itself. Uh, it So we get uh, to insert here. Insert uh,
the insert card. Let's try it in our defined field. Six by eight. What can I even do now? Switch on this card. Six. Let me support it. Okay, we have a card now. So we have to query it. See, we have one card, so if we have our API, you should have this big one record. So it's execute. There we go. We able to get the card that we are inserted from our API. Okay. Okay, guys, we're able to get the data from our API. So, for example, if we get by ID. So, basically, we just have to pass the ID as parameter as well. So, it's like this. I will just copy this. And uh, let's say FBI. And here, we pass the ID. Of course. Uh, from here, that first that we can find the ID here for so the part. So, that ID would be equals to. to ID that we pass from here. So this will be a feature of ID. So we can see there's an error of it does uh, that result uh, it's so. so just not away from here yeah. so we can know it does so we'll just have like that. Can get the ID. Have an ID of one. Um, is secure. Yeah, we get the ID one. So if we post ID 11, which is not in our database, it should be data. There's no data that we will split. That's on. We can have the data. To make this as asynchronous, 
we can do like this assign then await await this one we will not do like this but we will have this cars that find async and then we just press the id just like that it will this is asynchronous so you can see you get the data right okay so now we are going to post data post and delete so data or well, insert data so up map get a map map post right so we find our API API that uh, say turn so input parameter here and then this one is our lambda expression and we just okay, so from here the expression we can have here this is this is from the speed that we for from body. you have to insert our API db context again and context So is equal to this will be context that that add then the car see takes that saves and just context that saves and just a sync we make it a sync it or not so we will put our it here Think here, but it doesn't work. Let's 
So, so that will be. So simple is that. And let's try if it's working. This, this is created by the whole So the result here success and we go to our database and see if there's a new record. So it's here. So that's how we are going to update. Alright guys, we're able to follow. So basically it's as basic as that. <laughs> and then we need to have our update delete. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have our remove first, so up that map that delete. So this is to remove and data. So API, let's see delete and then sync or data sync and then Put this down so it will be readable and then delete. We have to pass the ID, that's ID we are going to delete. So, ID and then the input parameter it will be integer ID, and then of course, we inject our API DB context. ID context and its name is context again and then from existing or value or that you have to find first you can make this a sync oh why it's still recording man Find first await and then context that parse that find a sync to find it so we need to remove it. So you can just see how it directly context that uh shape changes a sync. But of course you have to remove it first. So from here let's just see context that cars that remove the variable is card. So we'll try it. What happened? It's okay, we will not have a validation for now. So maybe you can validate if the car is you know, ID is null, so you will not proceed to removing. So from here we will remove ID number two, the one that we've been inserting. So two and execute. That's two hundred, and let's say it's already deleted from our database. So say it's already deleted. Okay, we have another one more, one more endpoint for our crude operation, which is update. So we have to update the car update, so we can have map put passes, and then undefined API 
update card like that and then of course you need to pass what ID you are going to update so we have to pass the bracket there in the ID and then this one input parameter from here and the input parameter from here and then the expression then your query and your code to variation so we just put it down here again so it will be readable okay guys so did so we need to inject our context again mm -hmm. we need to have the integer id that we need to pass and then of course we can have just the car as object here and then of course the api db context and then context or so this one you can have the from body just like uh, here but it can be like that also direct there's no from body let's try if it will work and then since we are going to update so we need to have a to query for the car and it's also a sync from here so it will be asynchronous query from car so await await um, context that first that find sync and then the variable id the variable to find it this is existing it is so it's just this bound okay okay so if found is not null if found all to null so we need to see we are able to find a data so then we can rip this and update certain data so found that for example description it will be r that description the one that we pass in a query string and then after that we can just await context that using this as thing so that's basically updating uh, try it out so here we have the update card what we need to update uh, id for our database is one and we update this this card so we pass the id here one and we're going to pass this this one only yeah that's the description it is toyota toyota or any toyota you execute so hopefully we can get an update so plus toyota 500 uh let's see our data is being updated so see it's been toyota the plate number we don't include it even if we put it but in our code it's not included because we only update one field here see description only so uh guys so that is our cloud operation in using that net me that net minimal uh, that net seven minimal api and also connecting to our SQL server database using entity framework or seven so i hope guys you learned something so this is basically our product of our study as well and i'm just sharing you so what we use is just plain directly connecting to the database 
uh, we are not demo we are not using a uh, repository pattern generic repository in my previous video there are repository pattern with generic repository pattern but we use the uh, the controller with api this one is just a demo how to connect to the database using the minimal api in that needs even so thank you for watching guys i hope uh, You'll learn a lot from this video, so it takes us 15 minutes. So happy learning. Bye-bye. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and, of course, uh, hit the bell button so you will be notified for the next upcoming video that we have. Bye.